Good morning guys, welcome back to our weekly forecast. My name is Poman and we are TrueSide Forex and again we are gonna make our weekly forecast. As usual we are starting with the news that are coming this week and we are gonna take a look at our technical analysis for the upcoming week for the current pair we are trading. So without further ado let's begin. This week on Monday we don't have really anything important. On Tuesday we have the CPI on a quarter base on an yearly base for the New Zealand dollar. Also we have the RBA meeting minutes. Later that day we have the core retail sales for the US dollar. And this is the most important news. On Tuesday, on Wednesday we have the CPI for the British pound. And probably some movement may happen when this news came up. Also on Wednesday we have the CPI for the Euro, as you see this is very important news. And the forecast is that the consumer price index will gonna decrease, but we have to see. Also we have the building permits for September and the crude oil inventories. On Thursday we have the initial jobless claims for the US dollar and the existing home sales. These news brings a lot of movements but not every week, so we have to be careful when these news are coming. And on Friday we really don't have anything important, they are also with two stars. So let's go to the charts and let's see what is our technical analysis. We are starting with Euro Dollar, let's see last week what were our expectations. Last week the price was just here. Okay, we were expecting some retracement to happen and from here to see some up movement from here. First we saw the up movement, now the price is coming back to the point of interest on the 15 minutes time frame and to the Cosimodo pattern. And if we take a look on a daily time frame, as we told you last week, the price is at the weekly level. So there is a good chance to see some up movement, very strong up movement from the Quasimodo pattern. There is. Also the price didn't touch the point of interest on a daily time frame for some 4 or 5 pips, something like this. And if this candle today closes like an engulfing candle, probably we may expect a new up movement, bullish movement that will break this previous high right there and the price to start to continue to go up. This on the daily time frame, on the 4 hour time frame is pretty much the same. Here when the news came up on Thursday, very uh, positive news for the US dollar. Look what the price did, it made a very strong down movement. Now it's pushing back from the point of interest and we can expect the price to continue to go up. Something like this. But also there is a chance if the price breaks these lows right there, probably it we may see some down movement. For now we are expecting only the price to continue to go up. This is for Euro to US dollar. Pound to US dollar. Pretty much the same. Let's take a look at the picture. It was on the 4 hour time frame. And now the price, we told you that the price has broke this 4 hour trend line. And after this impulse wave, we were expecting the price to continue to go up. As you can see, the price went to the daily level as we expected. After the news, the price went down and now it's pushing back from the Quasimodo. There is. It is exactly the same as Euro to US dollar. And if today this candle closes like an engulfing candle, probably we may see an up movement. Also there is a chance the price to make one more down movement to the point of interest on the daily time frame. And from here to see an up movement. On the 4 hour time frame we have down movement and it's pretty much the same. We may expect some up movement to the supply zone and later to continue to go up. Now the price has broke this 4 hour trend line so we don't need it anymore. 
something like this okay this is for pound us dollar now euro to japanese yen the picture from the last week was just here okay we were expecting the price after pushing from this point of interest on this high right there to continue to go down but it this is this was the new impulse wave this was the retracement and the price made a higher high than the previous one so what we are expecting for this week as you can see on the daily time frame nothing much is happening the price was at the range it broke the range but it comes back here so we are looking at the four hour time frame there are two possible ways here here we see a consecutive point on the new ascending four hour trend line so probably we may see an up movement but on this high right there we have a point of interest and we have a very good point of control right there so we may see something like this the price to go up to reach the point of interest and from here to see another bearish movement that will break the previous low and to continue to go down to this one and to continue to go down this is for euro to japanese yen if we take a look on a higher time frame as we told you from two months already the price is very high at this weekly level at 159 so there is a good chance the price to start to go very strong downwards and on the four hour time frame we are expecting the price to make a retracement to the point of interest and the point of control and to see down movement pound to japanese yen is pretty much the same the price was just here we were expecting to continue to go down but it made a higher high than the previous one and it touched the daily time frame the daily trend line there it is if we take a look on a higher time frame now we have a consecutive point on this descending daily trend line but we also have an impulse wave you can see the price broke the previous high right there so there are two chances first the price to make a retracement to some of the levels of fibonacci and to see some up movement something like this this is on a daily time frame on the four hour time frame the situation is just like this the price this is a new impulse wave that breaks the previous low right there as you can see after this impulse wave the price has made almost the same movement so there is a chance the price to make a retracement to hit the, the point of interest on this high right there and the point of control and from here to see very strong down movement and even to break this low and to continue to go down because on the weekly time frame as you can see we are expecting the price to make a head and shoulders pattern and on the weekly time frame this is a very strong pattern so if this happens probably some very strong movements will happen something like this okay euro to australian dollar this is the picture from the last week it was on the four hour time frame okay here we said that we are having some triangle pattern these candles right there and we were expecting either the price to break it on the downside and to make a very strong down movement to the point of interest right there or to break it on the upper side to see some pushback from the upper point of interest and some retracement as you can see the price broke on the downside and it reached this demand zone right there and started to go up so now we have a new trend line for our trend line it is pretty much as the daily time frame and let's take a look first we have on the daily time frame breaking of this daily descending trend line and the price now is starting to make a retracement 
So on the daily time frame, we are expecting some retracement and another up movement. On the 4 hour time frame, it's exactly the same. The impulses are the same. So we have a new trend line. And after this impulse wave, we are expecting a retracement to this demand zone. Also, we have a point of control here and a divergence may happen. So if the price comes back down to hit the trend line, it will be a consecutive point on this trend line. This is a daily and a four hour trend line. I'm going to make it four hour. And from here, with some confirmation to see another up movement right there, because on the weekly time frame, Last week, we told you that we have a third consecutive point and an engulfing candle, also Fibonacci. And the price may continue to go up to the weekly level, which is at around 172, something like this. This is for Euro to Australian dollar, pound to Australian dollar. Let's see the picture. It was the same, we had a triangle pattern on the 4 hour time frame. There it is. And we were expecting the price to break the triangle on the downside to reach the demand zone and the point of control and from here to see some up movement. Just like this. Let me show you this zone. this one and look what the price did it only touched the demand zone for like a pip and look what the price did a very strong up movement now what we can expect for this week as you can see this is now a new four hour trend line and here we have a new impulse wave so we are expecting the price to make a retracement for now it is touching the demand zone, but a little lower we have a point of control, so there is a chance the price to make one more retracement from here to reach the point of control and the trend line and then to see the new bullish impulse wave. Something like this. If this happens, the stochastic will continue to go down and it will make a divergence as well, so this is looking very well. This is for pound to Australian dollar, just like the Euro to Australian dollar and Euro to New Zealand dollar now. Let's take a look at the picture from the last week. The picture was, let me see, just here. Now, what we were expecting, there were two options right there we had a point of control the point of interest on this low right there and we were expecting either the price to push back to reach the upper point of control at this high or to break it make some retest and to reach the weekly trend line and look what the price did it broke the let me show you it was on the one hour Okay, so the price broke the point of interest, it made some retracement, but it reached the trend line as we expected. And from here, the price made something, I can't say it's a double bottom, but yeah, it's a double bottom. And the price went very strong upwards. Now, for this week, if we take a look on the higher time frames, the price is in a downtrend, as you can see. But on the daily time frame we have a new strong impulse wave that breaks the previous high right there so we have a new bullish impulse wave and we are expecting some retracement we may see it very clear on the four hour time frame there it is the new strong impulse wave now a retracement is expected and if it comes back here we have a point of control and it will make a retest on this 4 hour trend line 
and also if it goes down the price will make a divergence here the stochastic will fall down as well and with a confirmation here we are expecting new up movement because as you can see we have a third consecutive point on a weekly time frame and a very good candlestick formation this is a morning star and on a weekly time frame we should look only for long positions from the weekly time frame and on the four hour time frame as we said we are expecting the price to make some retracement to a levels of Fibonacci probably to retest this high right there and the point of control and from here we may expect some up movement pound to New Zealand dollar is exactly the same first let's take a look at the picture from the last week and the price was just here we are expecting let me show you on the one hour time frame point of interest there it is Okay, we are expecting the price to push back from this point of interest. As you can see, it broke it a little bit, but it made a very strong pushback from here. There is the impulse wave, as we expected. And as you can see, now the price is making a higher high than the previous one. So this is a clearly a new impulse wave. And after a strong impulse wave, a retracement is expected. So we may expect from this impulse wave the price to make a retracement to retest this high right there also we have a point of control here and if this happens a very good divergence is on the way so we are expecting a retracement to a levels of Fibonacci the point of control and a very strong up movement after that this is for pound to New Zealand dollar and the gold let's take a look at the picture from the last week it was on the one hour time frame let's take a look okay there is the price was just here we are expecting the price to make a deeper retracement to the demand zone this one and from here to see a very strong up movement well the price didn't reach the demand zone but it made a new impulse wave for retracement and look what did on friday the very strong impulse wave as we told you on the daily time frame there was a very huge bearish impulse wave there it is and a retracement was expected but it made a new impulse wave it reached the supply zone and this descending daily trend line so from here on a smaller time frame we may see something like this this is the new impulse wave the price now is starting to make in a retracement there is a huge imbalance right there and we may expect the price to reach the imbalance and to reach some of the levels of the Fibonacci and with the confirmation probably a divergence may happen as well and we may expect a very strong up movement to this high the previous one and even to continue to go up because as you know the gold is uh, moving by a fundamental uh, analysis not just technical analysis and it is influenced by uh, wars and uh, something very important like a monetary policy policy and everything like this and as you know the situation is not very good right now so we are expecting some retracement and the price to push back from some of the levels of Fibonacci and to continue to go up okay guys this is our analysis for this week I hope you like it and it will help you to make some good trades and if you like it hit the like button share this video with your friend and subscribe to the channel so more people to know about our analysis uh, i hope mm, i hope you very good week very positive and some good trades thank you for watching and see you next week bye bye